Hi, I'm David Blattner from InDesign Secrets and Creative Pro, and I want to tell you about a secret little feature inside InDesign which you should know about because it can really help with certain kinds of formatting. The feature is the Indent to Here character, and you can find it by placing your text cursor inside any paragraph, just click in there, then go to the Type menu, go all the way down to the Insert Special Character menu, then look inside the other submenu, and finally, there it is, indent to here. Or you can see the little shortcut here in the menu. It's command backslash, or control backslash on Windows. When I choose that, you can see what happens. The rest of the paragraph indented to that location. It doesn't affect any lines before it, or any paragraphs after this one, but all the rest of the lines in the paragraph get indented to that point. And it's just a character in the text, right? So if I come over here and click before it and just type some gibberish, you'll see that all the text moves. Or if I click right after that character and then press the delete key, you'll see that it disappears. The character is gone and the indent goes with it. So what the heck would you do with this character? Well, it's mostly for special type effects. For example, up here I have a paragraph with a drop cap, right? So this is fun. I can place my cursor directly after the drop cap and then press the shortcut, command or control backslash. And you'll see that everything indents up to that point. If I change the first letter of this to something wider, like an A, you'll see that it updates. It all reflows properly. So that's cool. Now I want to point out that the most common way that people use this is for hanging bullets or numbers. Like down here, I have these paragraphs that have bullets in them. And I often see people clicking in here just after the bullet and then pressing the keyboard shortcut. And it does kind of work. It indents the rest of the paragraph. But it's really clunky because you'd have to apply it to every single bullet item separately. So instead, I want to show you a better method. Let me delete that by pressing the delete key. To make bullets or numbers or that kind of thing hang in the margin, there's a much better trick. So what you do is you select all the paragraphs, and then go up to the control panel up here at the top and give it a positive left indent. Let's say one pica six or two centimeters or whatever you want it to be. Then come down here to the first line indent and say minus one pica six. Make it a negative number. When I hit return or enter, you'll see that now all of these paragraphs are indented properly. That is so much faster and easier. Or even better, you could get rid of those bullet characters that someone typed and instead use InDesign's built-in auto bullet feature. Anyway, my point is the indent to here character is really helpful in certain situations. It's a good feature to have in your back pocket. But honestly, it's pretty rare that you actually need to use it. So that's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign tutorials, sign up to receive our free newsletter, the InDesign Tip of the Week, and I hope we'll see you in person at the InDesign Conference. Thanks for learning with us.